Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create custom colors. Okay, so before you do anything, make sure you have these two imports in your main class and your panel class, or else your program will not work. Okay, now let's start off by creating a J frame. So let's do J frame, frame equals new J frame. Now inside here, I'm going to put in our title. So let's name this custom colors. Okay. Now let's set the size of our frame. So frame dot set size. And let's do 400 by 400. Okay. Now let's set the location of our frame. So let's do frame dot set location and we'll do zero and zero okay now let's set the closing operation for our frame so frame dot set default close operation and let's put in j frame dot exit on close okay now let's set the content pane. So frame dot set content pane. Let's put in new panel. Now I'm putting in panel because that is the name of our second class over here. Okay. Now finally let's set the visibility of our frame to two. So frame dot set visible to true okay now let's move in into our panel class now inside here we're going to do public class panel extends j panel okay now let's create our paint component so public void paint component and inside our parentheses we're going to put in Graphics G. Okay. Now let's create a shape so I can demonstrate the custom colors. So let's do G dot fill rect. Let's do 100, 175, and 75. Okay. Now let's create our custom color up here. So we're going to do G dot set color. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to put in new color parentheses. And then inside it, you could either put in hexadecimal values or RGB values. So today I'm going to put in RGB values. So let's put in uh, 32, 90, and 17 as an example. Now, as you can see, our color shows up here. So this is a preview of our color. Now, when we click this, we can adjust it here without having to adjust these numbers manually. So we can go in here and we can set it to any color. So we can go let's do a purple and set it to that. And the slider will set the saturation of it. And as, as, and as you can see, it changes over here. OK. Now, a now saved colors will be here now these colors are automatically save once you create them so i can go in here and set this to any color let's do red and let's put this here if i click off of it and go back in as you can see it shows up right here the front now this button here lets you set the color from on your screen. So if I want this orange color over here, I can set it to that by left clicking. Or if I want this yellow over here, I can click that and it'll set it to that. OK, now in order to type in hexadecimal values, you put in 0x, then type in our hexadecimal value. So let's put in. 2C, 5C, 9B. Now here's our blue color, as you can see over here. 
And we can also put in another color. So 54, 54, 54. We'll go with a dark gray over here, as you can see. And let's set it to this purple I created earlier. Okay, and as you can see, it's a hexadecimal value. But once I change it to an RGB, so if I do, let's do any RGB, doesn't matter. And I go here and press our purple. It'll change that to RGB instead of hexadecimal. Okay, now let's run our project so I can show you. So hit run over here. Now, as you can see, our square is set to that purple color I made earlier. Now let's uh, do another color for demonstration. So let's put in that blue here. Okay, we have that blue, which is this color, this blue color over here. Now let's run our project. And as you can see, our, our square is now set to that color. Thank you for watching.